These guys are getting extremely aggressive. Am I missing something? I gotta be missing something. They literally have us from every angle. Chinese companies are purchasing land near US military bases. $700 million worth of farmland bought near Grand Forks Air Force Base, North Dakota. What is the most likely or imminent threat out of the four of these vectors? You know, Americans need to step up. What do you think the most imminent threat could be out of out of the four vectors here? I mean, just going back to China, you know, our adversaries, they, they've labeled us enemy number one in their eyes. And they've just got so many angles on this country. And now, you know, now the power grid, you know, I've been going on, I've been going on about this green movement. And... Not that I, I don't think green energy would be a good thing. I don't think it works, and I think we found that out in Texas. Mm. Uh, what was that last winter or two winters ago? Two winters. And, <clears throat> and I was upset because it's already known that they would produce all of the batteries. We talked about this last night at dinner, how China's investing in all these lithium mines all around the world. They were there to negotiate with the Taliban before we even pulled out of there. As we're pulling out, China's there to negotiate yeah. the lithium mines, which would be our batteries for all the green solar equipment. They're doing this in Mexico. They're doing this in Africa. They're making our solar panels. They're supplying our batteries. They're supplying our wind turbines and everything. Well, now I'm finding out they've been supplying <laughs> a lot of it all along. Mm. And so they've essentially, they already have us. But uh, on top of that, companies, Chinese companies are purchasing land near U.S. military bases. $700 million worth of farmland bought near Grand Forks Air Force Base, North Dakota. In 2019, Chinese billionaire purchased land near Laughlin Air Force Base in Texas. That's the largest pilot training facility that's the Air Force's log largest pilot training facility. They purchased 140,000 acres with an airstrip on that land. And foreign, and uh, there's, <clears throat> I mean, why are foreign companies allowed to access the Texas power grid? Is that, is that still in, this is from 2019. Okay, Sorry. so Greg Abbott signed the Lone Star Infrastructure Protection Act to block the proposed wind farm plans that the Chinese had. So that's good. There's been a rise in number of Chinese nationals crossing into the U.S. through the southern border. I mean, these guys are getting extremely aggressive and normally I would say overconfident, but looking at all the different sectors that they have us, they have our supply chain. They had COVID. They have, they are paying off our politicians. They are settling Africa. They are taking all the lithium mines. They are buying our farmland. They, I mean, they, am I missing something? I gotta be missing something. They literally have us from every angle. No, we are incredibly vulnerable. We've let our guard down. As you and I were talking, you know, before we started the interview, it's conservatives need to step up. You know, Americans need to step up. We realize that we're at war with China and we have the Taiwan staring us in the face. Uh, and it's likely to happen in the next year and a half. I mean, I, f I feel like we're completely helpless and the majority of the American population doesn't even realize it yet. No, we need to wake up. That's why people need to watch this documentary. We need to tell your friends, but we have the facility by which we can reach out to our regulators, our legislators, our board of directors of our public utilities. But you know, Sean, we are movers and shakers. You, you are disseminating this wisdom to your listeners and viewers. You know, I'm trying to wake people up with this film. I end this film on this tone of positivity because I say, we can do this. We've overcome a lot in the past. We built a national highway system. We overcame racial segregation. We overcame 
you know, Nazi Germany with, you know, converting our industrial economy to an arsenal of democracy. And, and we made that happen. And therefore, we Americans and we patriots that are listeners and viewers of your show, we just need to step up and we, we can't get overly, you know, comatose about this. We've just got to step up even greater and say, we're going to fix this. Before we get to how we fix it, let's talk about what, what in your opinion, what is the most likely or imminent threat out of the four of these vectors? I'd say cyber attack, and I'd say it's Chinese transformers. Cyber attack and Chinese transformers? That's what I would think. What about, one thing I didn't discuss is the political weakness. So it sounds like the, according to the documentary, both the Obama administration and the Trump administration had put things in place to kind of protect uh, these transformers. Uh, Trump signed an, an executive order while he was in office. Unfortunately, the Biden administration has neglected to address the power grid crisis and whatever Trump put in place is now falling apart. UK and Israel have appointed a person to oversee their power grids. U.S. has done nothing, and the U.S. does not have direct authority over the civilian infrastructure. So how... how when we get to the point where we talk about how we're going to get this, how we're going to get these politicians to start to en enact bills and 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 legal stuff to, to 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 force these companies to protect our grid a little bit longer, how would we combat all of the money coming from these power corporations? They're gonna they're gonna send in their lobbyists. They're gonna pay off. All of these politicians, we see it all the time. All of our politicians are paid off, all of them. Yes. So how are we going to protect ourselves from a utility company that literally has an endless bank account because we all need power? They're never going to go out of business. Um, how do we combat that? So we need to take this movie and move it into a movement. And therefore, it needs to be, we, we, we need to wake up. You know, Gen Xers, we need to wake up baby boomers, and we all need to tell our friends. We need to write these letters. We'll get more into that in a second. But it, uh, this can be fixed. There is technology, as we've talked about, that can prevent this. And we just need to, we need a better regulatory system because, as we mentioned before, there's been regulatory capture we need to amend the Federal Power Act to be able to get NERC, the North American Electricity Reliability Corporation, out of the way, you know, because they're self-regulating. We need to embarrass these utilities and let them know that uh, we need to, you know, put in the infrastructure. And one of the terms for this is harden our grid, to protect our grid. We need to protect our grid against all hazards. You mentioned about the UK and Israel. We mentioned that in the film. Uh, the UK and Israel both have what we call a, a, a grid czar, almost, you know, responsible to the president and American people saying, we will protect this grid. When you think about electricity being the most second most important component after air, I mean, this needs to be protected and this needs to be top priority. Hey everybody, I'm Sean Ryan. Click here to subscribe to the Sean Ryan Show YouTube channel for the hottest and most compelling interviews that you will not see anywhere else. I've also made a playlist of all the previous SRS episodes so they're easy to find. You can find that right here.